Hello, I'm Micah, aka Knob Twister, a host from the podcast you're about to fill your ear holes with. My co host Dustin, aka Sofa Sitter, and I research, read, and discuss fairy tales worldwide. The episodes are 60% fun, 10% educational, and 37% crazy. But alas, all good things do end, and Tales of Bedlam disappeared for a few years. So, please disregard any reference to a website or announcements during the episode. For more fairy tale fun, follow, like, and share us on Instagram and Facebook at Tales of Bedlam, or visit our website from the link in the show notes. Enjoy the show! Welcome to Tales of Bedlam. This is a fairy tale audio comedy. It's comedy. I'm your host, Micah. Okie dokie. And that would be our other host. Today we're doing another brother Grimm fairy tale called Dr. Know All. Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. The but, brothers Grimm. The Grimm brothers. Without further ado, Dustin, Dr. Know All. <sighs> Once upon a time. That's my favorite beginning. It's a good entry. There was a poor peasant by the name of Crab, <laughs> who drove two oxen with a load of wood into a town where he sold it to a doctor for two thalers. And as all we, we all know at this point, thalers were money. Yes. Some kind of money. Okay. It was money. If you listen to money, any money, of money, our... money, money, money. Dustin's been drinking the whiskey. He, re- <laughs> he received his money. Hey, I just said that. Mm -hmm. Just as the doctor was sitting down to eat. When the peasant saw how well the doctor ate and drank, his heart took a longing for the same things, and he decided that he would like to have been a doctor. He stood there for a little while, and then asked if he too could not become a doctor. Well, certainly, said the doctor. In no time at all. What do I have to do? asked the peasant. First of all, buy yourself an ABC book. (laughs) <laughs> what? Uh, yes. So it says an ABC book. Maybe that's like a grammar book. Huh. In the like, what? What was this? The 1400s? A, B, 1700s? 1600s? E, yeah, they had the alphabet back then. First of all, buy yourself an ABC book. Mm-hmm. One that has a picture of a cock up front. Mm-hmm. So that's a porno. Oh. Second... Sell your wagon and your two oxen and buy yourself some clothing mm-hmm. and other things that doctors use. Just random things. <laughs> like a stethoscope. <laughs> Leeches. <that> little <laughs> doohiggy that you hit their knees with. A reflex hammer. That's it. See, you're on your way to being a doctor. Yeah, this was this was more like leeches and uh scalpels. Yeah. Dirty bone, so- bone scalpels. <laughs> Third, have yourself a sign painted with the words, I am Dr. Know-All. I am so getting this sign. And nail it above the door to your house. I am so getting this sign. The peasant did everything he was told to do. After he had doctored a little, but not very much. (laughs) That was the best line ever. Some money was stolen from a guest. uh, mm, mm, (laughs) Stolen from what? I'm starting over. Some money was stolen from a great and wealthy nobleman. Someone told him about Dr. Knowall, who lived in such and such a village. Such Whoa, and such. Whoa, we just had a such and such a village. Yes, that's where that bar is that has the... The serial, serial killer and keeper. Oh. Mother, I mean, the serial killer man and wife. Yeah, weird. It's all tying together, finally. Mm. And who must know where the money had gone? So the nobleman had his carriage hitched up rode out to the village and asked him if he were Dr. Knowall. Yes, <laughs> that I am. But I'm a little confused. Doesn't he need, like, a detective, not a doctor? It's Dr. Knowall. Mm, okay. I don't know, man. I didn't write the story. I just read it. Then you must come with me and recover my stolen money. Yes, but my wife Greta must come along, too. The nobleman agreed and had them take their places in his carriage. They rode away together. They arrived at the nobleman's court just at mealtime, and the nobleman invited him to eat. That was so nice of him. Yes, 
but include my wife, Gret- Greta. He always wants her included. Yeah, he replied. And the two of them sat down behind the table. When the first servant brought out a platter of fine food, the peasant nudged his wife and said, Greta, that's the first one, meaning the meal's first course. Wow, did he learn that from his ABC book? His ABC book (laughs) and all his various doctor things. However, the servant thought that he meant, that's the first thief. And because that is indeed what he was, he took fright. And outside, he said to his comrades, the doctor knows. Why did they say everything? I didn't write the story once again. It's going to go badly for us. He said that I'm the first one. Guilty conscience much? The second one did not want to go inside at all, but finally he had to. And when he entered, the peasant nudged his wife and said, Greta, that's the second one. (laughs) This servant took fright as well and went outside. (laughs) It did not go any better for the third one. Once again, the peasant said, Greta, that's the third one. (laughs) <laughs> the fourth one brought in a covered platter, and at the n- and the nobleman told the doctor that he should demonstrate his art by guessing what it contained. Shockingly enough, <laughs> it was crabs. <laughs> the peasant looked at the platter, and seeing no way out of his dilemma, he said to himself, Oh, poor crab. Hearing this, the nobleman called out, If he knows that, then he must know who has the money as well. True that. The servant grew very fearful and motioned to the doctor to go outside. There, all four of them confessed to him that they had stolen the money. Nicely done, Dr. Knowall. They offered to give it all to him, and a handsome sum in addition, if he would not turn them in. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they would all hang. Mm -hmm. They showed him where the money was hidden. The doctor was satisfied with this, and he went back inside and sat down again at the table and ate some crabs. I love crabs. I love to eat crabs. Anyway, my lord, he said, now I will look in my book to see where the money is hidden. In his ABC book? In his ABC book. (laughs) (laughs) With the cock on front? (laughs) You're, You're ruining it. (laughs) <laughs> However, the fifth servant climbed into the stove in order to hear if the doctor knew anything else. The doctor leafed back and forth in his book, looking for the picture of the cock. <laughs> Not, <laughs> you stop. Not finding it, he said, I know that you are in there. Come on out. <laughs> Greta, help me find this cock. I can't find a picture of my cock. The man in the stove thought that the doctor was talking to him, (laughs) and terrified, he jumped out, saying, The man knows everything! Uh, Then the doctor know-all showed the nobleman where the money was, but he did not tell who had stolen it. Thus, he received a large reward from each side and became a famous man. What a lovely story. And this is the beginnings of... Sherlock Holmes. That's right. <laughs> Dr. Newell. Of course, he changed his name, but... I can't, I can't find my rooster. <laughs> I know you're in there somewhere. Come on out. Why was he looking for that picture anyway? Because he was a dunce. <laughs> Gosh. Well, yes, that was, that was a lovely, a very interesting story yeah. of how the fool fooled everybody. Oh, might use that. I need to get me an ABC book so that I, too, can know all. Well, you have to get the one with the right picture on it. That's right. Uh, and I need a sign. I'm getting a yeah. sign. If we ever so going over if my we door. build our studio, we should put a sign like that on the outside. Dr. Know All. Yep. I'm getting one. I'm going to get one that attaches to my hat and just hangs over my head. <laughs> a neon Dr. one. Dr. No It flashes. Blink, Dr. blink, no. blink. Well, how about I just make it into one of our t-shirts? Oh, that would be <clears> perfect. <throat> a Dr. Know-All shirt. Yep. Tales of Bedlam, Dr. Know-All. Can you got to put a big chicken yeah. on it. No, an ABC book with a rooster on the front. <laughs> uh, I'm buying one. 
Check it out. Um, if you want to purchase any of our swag and become a walking billboard for us, you can have that pleasure granted to you by just going to our website at talesofbedlam.com, click on the button in the upper right-hand corner that said swag, button that says swag. swag. Order a t-shirt. They're cool. I have one. Yeah, order one. They do cost money. <laughs> well, yeah, whatever. Wow. I'm just lost it here for the t shirts for a minute. Cost money? Yes, they do. We how, can't ship them out for free. How many thalers? Uh, not a lot, especially if you catch them in a sale. Mm-hmm. Anyways, check us out, talesofbedlam.com. Click on that swag or go to this episode, uh, Dr. Know All, and leave us a comment. Let us know if you'd like a Dr. Know All shirt. Yes. If we get an, a comment or two about it, I will spend the time to make up some art for it. Sweet. Good night. Bye. (laughs) He couldn't find his cock. I know you're in there. (laughs) Grady! Grady! Come help me find this! I I read seven seven or eight stories before I hit that one. I was like, oh my god. I get to make Micah say cock again.